Carrie Engel from Valley View Farms is here to answer your plant and gardening questions. Hello, Carrie. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Mom. <laughs> Mom. There's a lot of mums. They're just starting to come into color now. We'll have them up through about October, but they're kind of a nice transition from summer into fall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just nice, bright little touches around the yard. Any new colors this year? There's always new colors, and there's a lot more purples. That whole Ravens thing, mm -hmm. we have to get a lot more purples in mm -hmm. than we did last year, so we'll keep working at that. I wish we needed more oranges, but. Um, Something's happened to the ball huh. team. I will figure that uh, out. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. What vegetables can I start from seed this time of year? You know, if you have like broccoli and cabbage, you got to do plants for those. But seed, you can still do lettuce and spinach. You can probably do Swiss chard, radishes, beets, that sort of thing. And you can also plant onion sets this time of year and garlic bulbs. So huh. still plenty of time to get going uh, with right. vegetables. Get one to it. I still have my poinsettia from last Christmas, and it's still beautiful. <laughs> How do I get it to turn red for this year? Congratulations. That's for right. Having it. <laughs> exactly. I'm usually sick of them by May. No, that's um, it, it's relatively easy. You need to bring the plant inside where you have a room with just natural light. It needs 14 hours of of darkness and 10 hours of light every day. So if you have that naturally through a window or whatever, that's great. But if you don't, you're going to need to put a box over it for all but 10 hours, or put it in the closet for 10 hours. But you have to remember to take it back out um, and then water it. And that'll make it red and that'll, again? Yeah, that'll make it red again. You just have to make it think it's nighttime sooner than it is. So 10 hours a day and 14 hours a night should help it turn. Okay. You know, we have kids to deal with. <laughs> That's just too much work. <laughs> I know where you can get new points. That is no problem. <laughs> <laughs> what other flowers besides mums can be planted in my perennial garden for fall color? That's a great question. I mean, all sorts of ornamental grasses are a lot of fun. The sedums, uh, like nice succulent, and they have beautiful flowers on the top that are usually um, kind of pink to autumn color. Sort mm -hmm. of um, a lot of the Rudbeckias, the black-eyed Susans are still in bloom. Mm -hmm. Asters are gorgeous and, and one of the few plants that are almost, you know, blue-purple that you can bring in. So there's all sorts of things. And then there's all those little cabbages, ornamental oh, cabbages. Oh, yeah. And, and pansies will be coming in a little bit later, so you'll be able to use those. All right. A lot of work to do. Always fun, But though. these come back. I mean, I have told you I had some that look like they were in their last last leg. Okay. So, what do we, will they come back? Or Maybe. I mean, take a look at them. You might cut them back one more time just to see. Usually we tell people to cut them back in uh, Mother's Day, excuse me, St. Patrick's Day, Mother's Day, and the 4th of July um, so that they're nice and compact yeah. like this by fall. If you don't do that, you might end up with one okay. that's a little more rangy. I may need to visit this store. But get it get it in the ground. <laughs> it'll, it'll take care of itself through the winter right. time. Thanks, Carrie.